What's up, beautiful babes? Your girl, Sweet Angel, coming at ya. Look, hard and heavy. You know it. Y'all know how we roll. And, you know, I guess to make up for the reason, uh, let's say, I ain't been doing no vlogging like out in the streets, so I'm giving you as much as I can hanging out of the house. I was just getting ready to empty the trash here in the beauty room, and I guess it struck me like I was supposed to be doing an empties video and I have not done that so before I dump this trash let me go ahead and get my basket of stuff okay yep I got a few things and we're gonna go ahead and entitle this um, August empties okay of 2019 my little items and some of it is is empties some of it is it's crap I, that I just need to get rid of that ain't even empty. But y'all going to hear the story as I get to those items. And one of them is like an honorable mention. But before we get started, beautiful babes. And I want to call you that. But you know you got to do your girl a big favor. It ain't really no big favor. Heck, it's free. Go ahead and subscribe. That's it. Just go ahead and subscribe. If you want to, you can hit that little bell. And that way you'll be notified when I upload. How about that? Would that be nice? Totally. And honey, beautiful babes, sugar pie, sweethearts. Let's get to it. Now, the first thing I have is actually an honorable mention. Y'all, in this jar was some magic. It was some magic. Y'all, this is the creamsicle scrub that I created a few days ago. And when I tell you this stuff is amazing, I'm, I'm trying to tell you it's it's amazing. Are you listening to me? It's amazing. Y'all, I'm going to link the video in the description box as well as above in the iCards because you need to make this. And you talk about it smells good. Ooh. Man, it made my mouth water. It smells good. It's made. This one was made from brown sugar. You can also use like granulated white sugar if you want to, but I like the brown sugar because it's it's not as it's gritty and, and rough on my skin. But this was so good. And again, it's an honorable mention. I know you can't pick it up at the store, but you can make it yourself. Go ahead, check out the iCard or either the uh, video down in the description box entitled a DIY creamsicle or something like that. Creamsicle scrub or something or another. Please check it out. You're going to be glad you did. This one is definitely a keeper recipe that I will be doing time and time again. Loved it. I'm just going to dig in my little basket here. It's no rhyme or reason. Most of it is really like hair products, I think, for the most part. So we're just going to get started. The first item up is this S Curl No Drip Curl Activator Moisturizer. Y'all know I've been using this for maybe going over uh, maybe like a year and a half now. I do love this. I At first, I used to try to use it years ago. It didn't work for me. It didn't like me, you know, but now I guess for whatever reason, it's my friend. I love it so much. I use it with, um, as a matter of fact, I have an empty of that. I use it with my Schwartz Cough Smooth and Shine. This is a curl um, defining gel. This is it here. And I use these two together. And my hair loves it. So far, so good. For those of you who want to know what your girl been rocking in her hair, what makes it like this. My hair is not technically um, naturally wavy like this. I do have to put some products in it to make it happen. Okay, so just letting you know. Uh, but these are the two items that I love to use and I have the trash can over here so I'm just gonna drop those in there and again another hair product this is the Clairol pure white developer this is number 20 okay this is what I use when I am bleaching my hair um, along with the other product which is the BW2 or B2W I think it's BW2 um, the powder but this is what I use in number 20 
And I'll tell you a little story because I actually used to use number 50 all the time, the volume 50. Um, and my hair didn't know how I was just, you know, beating it up and abusing it. It was like, you know, thinking it was supposed to take that abuse, but I was abusing my hair extremely a lot. So if you see my older videos and I say I'm using like the volume 50, 50 volume or whatever, girl, don't do that. Um, it does do what I needed to do when using the 20 volume. So this is perfect. This is all I need. Always will get this. These other two products always will get those until they let me down. And this is another one that's my friend. Okay. Now let's move on. Heck, I got some more hair stuff. Um, this is the smooth and shine as well. The Camellia Oil and Shea Butter Styling Custard. I like it sort of kind of but it's not something that I have to have it's it's a mm, kind of thick and you know I really have to kind of just style my hair in a style it's not gonna curl it it doesn't do anything like that but this is that one um I may be off and on about whether I'll repurchase it I actually already have another one that I use like again periodically if I want to just style my hair in a way like either put a part and this kind of helps to lay it down and all of that but not not a got to have but you know I already have one but anyway that's that and oh I've gone through a lot of these. This is actually like a uh, Dow soap. Y'all know I am a Dow soap girl. Yes, I am. The gold bar. This is what I use. This is like, well, this comes in a big pack, so it's not necessarily, this is how it comes. But um, the gold Dow soap, I use that over most of my body for washing everything okay everything uh except for my face of course i don't use the dow soap but i'm a dow soap girl that's what that's what i use and um hey i know a lot of people say they can't use dow it's too strong but it is perfect for me been using it for umpteen years majority of my life okay and next up we have oh some aloe vera gel uh this is an old container and I used to always and I probably have on videos call this art naturals aloe vera gel but it is not it is a l'oreal's it's a l'oreal's on there and I always thought it said art naturals but y'all know bitch can't see so what you, what don't hold it against me I'm sure I probably if I provided a link provided the right link it's still a great aloe vera gel um, and I would buy it over and over again but you know I switch out every now and then because of you know price points when I'm looking on Amazon and when I'm shopping and that's the reason why I switch it out a little bit to try something else but not a bad aloe vera gel at all Hi, let's get to oh I got a lot of makeup stuff in here oh my goodness y'all y'all remember my Kerology video uh-huh if you don't I'll make sure it's linked for you but this is the Kerology from the other month and I have my new Kerology up here that I need to move to the bathroom so I can begin using it but this is like an anti-aging formula that was made specifically for my skin I take a picture of my I took a picture of my face I uh, answered a questionnaire and Curology formulates a product just for your skin specifically for your skin and this is so great it's a great moisturizer it's actually more of a nighttime moisturizer so anytime that I'm in here and I see it up there I always forget to take it to the bathroom because I need to use it at night versus during the day when I'm doing my makeup so this is definitely a keeper I get this month after month and so while I'm thinking about it, I'll go ahead and take my new one here and take it to the bathroom. So that takes care of that. Now let's get to some of this makeup and I'll tell you what the problem is with what's going on here. Uh, this is a foundation. It's Black Radiance. Uh, it's like the Color Perfect Foundation. The foundation 
Well, initially was fine, but I jacked it up and messed it up because I start mixing and blending and mixing all kind of foundations with it. So it is like crap now. So this was that. So I'm just tossing it out because it's no good to anybody. You wouldn't want this, okay? You would not want that. Okay, this is truly an empty. This is actually uh, the foundation from ColourPop the no filter foundation um i did like this one i did like this one but i'm kind of moving on i tried it out i did like it uh i would buy it again i'm just using my magnifying glass to see what color i had it uh was um, medium dark 135 i believe that says 135 but no, I don't want it right now. I'm, I'm stuck on my Black Opal Stick Foundation as well as now I've been enjoying the Kat Von D Locket. Yes, foundation. So this is just an empty from ColourPop. Don't want it right now. Oh yeah, something I use pretty much every day when I'm doing my makeup and even without it. It is the Avon Magics. Face Perfector. This is a primer. It has an SPF in it of 20, so you definitely need that all year long. And that's where I used to mess up. I would not put my sunscreen on in the cold months. And I noticed that I tend to get a lot more dark spots on my face in the winter. But it's so much better when you're using this. This really does help to kind of lighten those spots or... Um, you know, so when the sun is hitting your face, you know, if something is dark, it's going to get a little darker. So I tend to, you know, not be able to cure those little areas as quick as I normally would. So this is super great. Not only just as a primer, but as some sunscreen as well. So Avon Magix, love it. Did love it, in fact. A couple of items that um, I have not really used in a minute is my Juice Beauty. I am actually an affiliate of Juice Beauty. Um, I do use, uh, for the most part, I love the soap, the facial soap. Um, but this is the Green Apple HGFI Moisturizer. Very good moisturizer, uh, especially if you're looking for something that is as close to natural as possible to moisturize your skin. And mind you, when you're buying something at the store and it says, organic or natural etc etc y'all know that if it is at the store sitting on a shelf there has to be some chemical some preservative in it to keep it and give it some shelf life so mind you just to drop that off and put it on your doorstep just in case you didn't know okay but uh, this is a great moisturizer and it does not um, burn my eyes or burn my skin or anything and it smells good too uh, but this is this is an uh, an age defined moisturizer anti-aging I did love it a lot now this one is the one that's more of a daytime it's a brightening with SPF it's a green apple um, but it does have the sunscreen in it of 15 so it is also a moisturizer but I'll link these down below nothing that I just run out to get because I do have some great moisturizers now with the Curology which I'll continue to use it for now and also with my own natural mix-ups that I do almost every single day using something natural on the skin so definitely uh, but those are good products very good I definitely uh, do give thumbs up to juice beauty products for sure oh this is one of my black opal stick foundations in heavenly honey this one is gone kaput and y'all know I love my black opal so yes time and time again I already got a back up here and I already have one that's not even halfway gone right here on my vanity but this stick foundation is everything they did of course change the packaging on it so this is the new packaging with the bold uh, abbreviated black opal and this is the older package here so uh, but this one is definitely a keeper oh my <laughs> milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation yes y'all know I did love this one a lot but yes I did do a number on it as well I mixed up some other stuff in here so now it is crap okay I'm it was really no more of the um, Milani foundation in here it's just that I like the pump 
on this one. Some of the pumps are just so freaking terrible that you know you pump stuff out and you have like foundation coming all around it and crap like that and I just couldn't do that but I would use this bottle uh, it was glass as well so I like that as well but I used it to mix up other stuff in it and anyway it's time for it to go and another foundation that I really did like was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is a good foundation as well. It was pretty much gone as you can see here. The bottle was pretty much empty. I did mix something up in it and I shouldn't have done that. And Don't ask me why I be mixing stuff. That's what I do y'all. Y'all know I mix stuff together to try to create something great and sometimes with this stuff here it don't work each foundation needs to stand for itself or either if you're going to mix it just apply what you want to apply in whatever area of the face out of that bottle and apply whatever you want to apply from the other bottle don't mix it together because they clash or they don't they don't they don't work it just don't work so anyway she gone but uh this shade was desert beige for me i did like it and in case you want to know on the Milani, that one was 07 Sand, okay? And another foundation, oh my God. Well, you know what? I did a big clean out of all of my old foundations because I told you I was shopping for a new foundation, which I don't need one, but I know y'all would get extremely bored if I did a makeup look every time using Black Opal. So that's when I ventured and I got the Kat Von D Locket Foundation because, again, I use on the stage that stick foundation because, honey, it ain't sweating off. It ain't going nowhere. Liquid foundations can actually run and, be, you know, mix with the sweat and be gone. I don't need that. So that's why I use the stick foundation and I love that one. But the Locket Foundation, I have not did like the water test yet to see if it's going to run off but i might do that tonight since i do have my face made up and i did wear i am wearing the locket foundation so we shall see but uh in moving on foundation this was the prolonged wear foundation mac cosmetics and i was in the shade of nc 37 this is the one i used now again i may not have been in nc 37 i don't know it may be mixed up as well which i think it is but anyway, it was time out for it. It was time for it to go. And she gone. Bye-bye. Next up, we have my favorite mascara of all times. Y'all know this is it. This is it. This is always it. This is the Maybelline New York Falsies Volume Express Waterproof. She's the girl. All the time, she is my mascara bff she never lets me down she's always there with me she is it i don't even think i want to even shop for any other mascaras and i probably won't i don't even know why i'd be trying other mascaras she is it the holy grail of mascaras for me absolutely in black or either maybe very black i'm not sure Oh, this is an eyebrow pencil from Black Radiance, correct? Am I correct to say Black Radiance? It is. And I loved it so much. But y'all, they don't give you no dang pencil. I probably used this every bit of three times. And after then, it was gone. I love it, but I'm not endorsing it because this is not enough pencil for me i need more pencil than this but i loved it because it was a very little thin pencil you can really etch out an eyebrow really good but when you start shading and filling in stuff this thing is like you through you can do two and a half brows and you are finished no more i can't do this but i loved it i did but i'm not buying that anymore waste of my money okay all right, beautiful babes, if I'm not whipping up anything for my teeth, the toothpaste of choice is Tom's of Maine. Y'all might recall a few months ago when I just went ahead and jumped head on and said I'm going to only use Tom's. Well, that's what I use. I do treatments with maybe Colgate uh, or uh, any other toothpaste. Colgate, Ultravite, I think they're the same thing, same company. But uh, this is my Tom's of Maine. Fluoride free natural anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste. This is what I use right here. This is it. 
Okay. Love it. Got some more. Set it up again. All right. This was from the body shop. I am the, a, an affiliate of the body shop. Uh, and I get periodically, I love their mask. Uh, this is the uh, Japanese matcha tea mask. This is a pollution clearing mask. And it was, uh, I can't smell it now, but I really liked it a lot. This is what it looked like there. I'll have the links below of all of these items in case you want to check them out. I will do that. I'll put the links below for you in the description box. Okay. And the final thing, y'all, I don't know. It's a Simply Earth bottle, but it's tea tree oil. Now, we go through a lot of tea tree oil around here for mosquito bites, for pimples. Of course, you know I have a teenager. This is some good stuff here. I put it in my foot baths. I also, when I was uh, had gotten my extra piercing here, used it for that this is some good stuff it is definitely good to have if you had nothing else any essential oils get you some tea tree and get you some lavender okay those two that's the best but tea tree always got some always got some yes i do And this was just a little booklet to my microphone when I'm doing voiceover. So I don't know why she in there because she ain't no empty. But that's it. That is it. Those are my empties. I hope you had fun and enjoyed the, the little moment here. I decided to say, well, I'm not doing anything. Let me go ahead and get this done tonight. So there you go. But beautiful babies, that's it. I hope you did enjoy it. In fact, if you like this, then let me know and I'll bring it back for next month. And let you know what I went through because it's probably gonna be about the same thing that's why I kind of stopped a couple of years ago because I really wasn't that active on YouTube but now that I am I thought it'll be a great little piece to put right here on life with sweet angel and I am finito y'all if you enjoyed it let me know please like the video drop me some hearts down in the comment section if not talk to me tell me what's on your mind i certainly try to get through as many as i can and read it but y'all know i'll be working trying to crank out these videos for y'all and beautiful babes if you have not subscribed i can't call you beautiful babe but if you have subscribed i can so if you would please make sure you have subscribed and be one of my beautiful babes absolutely and at the end of the day before the end of this video uh, before you go to work tomorrow morning would you do your girl a big favor Mm -hmm. tell somebody where you've been hanging out in and that's right here at life with sweet angel so please share your girl with your world and i will see you and you and you too on the next video bye